Hello everyone and welcome to the DevScope YouTube channel. Join me today as we learn about how to use SVGs in Power BI. You might be wondering what SVGs are and why they are helpful in Power BI. Well, in this video I will show you some great functionalities in Power BI that will make your reports much more appealing with the use of SVGs. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. It's basically a two-dimensional image but instead of being pixelated, it's vector-based. For example, SVGs are scalable. You can resize them and the aspect won't change, neither lose quality. One of the best features of SVG is that you can customize just about anything because you write the code. Let me show you in a demo. Here we have three cards fully customized with SVGs. You can see already how SVGs might improve your reports. However, let me show you how easy it is to use them. Let me create a SVG measure. SVGs must start with this code. Then, you can use a website named svgviewer.dev that has multiple SVGs available. It allows you to change the code and see those changes in real time. Be aware, Power BI doesn't allow quotation marks, so you need to change them into an apostrophe. You can do it in, on the website using Ctrl F. Now that we have the code, we can complete the measure. Let's concatenate the strings. Then select data category as an image URL and put the measure in a new card in Power BI. Once we do that, we can disable all the values, titles and labels. Next, in image, we select the field, change the image type to image URL and insert the measure as a function. Finally, the card will show the SVG. But it doesn't fit our card. Let's, fi let's fix it. Done. Let me show you an approach that seems to be a bit harder. In this scenario, we have a big measure with multiple parts. However, it's separated into variables, so it's easier to maintain and change in the future. You can see that we have variables that are related to the way the text will appear. For example, width, height, font, and so on. Right here. But we also have the variables for the values like metric and target. Right here. We can even write the variables as conditions to choose colors, for example. Once we have those variables set up, we can adjust the SVG layout. Do it with percentages, like this. So that when you resize your card, the ratio and location of the SVG can also accompany the card. As you can see, once you have all the variables set up, the SVG is very simple to create. You just have to manage the variables to match your needs. For example, I want to show a different value on this SVG. Let's see how. I want this variable. These are just a few examples of how to use SVGs in Power BI. You can even take what you have learned here and do it on a table or matrix, for example. This will make your report stand out among others. That's all for today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for future videos as we explore Power BI together.